Uh, good morning, everyone. We are starting. It's already nine morning. You can uh, take coffee with you and some food as well here. Uh, okay, let's start then. Move here. And uh, good morning. Welcome to Creative Mornings uh, again. Uh, we traditionally ask a question who is first time on Creative Mornings in Tallinn? Show me. Wow, wow, wow. So many new people. Nice. So we usually introduce uh, quickly about the format and why we are all here. So Creative Mornings is international format of events, uh, and it, it is uh, around, around the world since uh, 2007. So it's already 10, more than 10 years to the format. And in Tallinn, we started doing it in 2017, so it's already two years past uh, how uh, that we are doing them. Uh, and we always did it here, so it's already our like home base. And uh, yes, and today Creative Mornings is run in uh, 207 cities around the world, uh, 65 countries. Uh, yes, so you're not the only one who woke up sorry, uh, that early. And actually, this is a very good life hack. If you're traveling, you can always check if Creative Mornings is happening in the city where you are. It's kind of good. Uh, I know that some people already do it. Uh, and uh, to me, mix up with local community and meet uh, new people. So uh, today the event is also happening in many cities. It's actually very popular to make it on the last Friday of the month. I know that many cities like keep it to the last uh, Friday. And today, uh, yeah, for example, Sofia, Helsinki, Sydney, Oslo, Malmo, all those, and also one new city, Tomsk in Russia. They they are very new, one chapter. Uh, it's very nice to have chapters in very, very, very different parts of the world. So many cities wake up early. And we are driven by the idea that everyone is creative and that people need a place to meet up and meet people, other people from different spheres, not only from startups or not only from artists with artists, but everyone uh, all together at one place. So it, that this idea drove us actually to start Creative Mornings in Tallinn and keep it going to make this platform uh, for people to meet, to meet up in the mornings. Uh, yes, and it's all done with the help of our global partners. We have three companies uh, which support us, <coughs> MailChimp, Adobe, and WordPress. So all our uh, online platforms, and uh, as you have seen, and um, all creative, uh, uh, <laughs> creative uh, stuff is done with the help of these companies. And this month's theme is supported by, globally supported by MailChimp, uh, the platform uh, through which we send you emails to remount our events. And of course, in Tallinn, we also have local supporters and partners who many of them are already with us during all these two years. And I want firstly to thank the team, people who support, supported me and uh, who wake up in the morning and come. So now we are four girls doing it. And we have a new team member, Ani. She's uh, helping us with marketing and uh, with many, many new ideas. She's here. Uh, it's very nice now to have more and more people joining the team. So if you're interested, you can also come to us later and ask how it's possible uh, to help. And yes, this is a non-commercial project, so no, nobody get paid, just receives very good emotions and uh, brings you the very, I hope, very nice events. I uh, want to thank our partner, Leaf99, for hosting us. It's like a working space, so if you are looking for a desk in Tallinn, you can ask uh, girls here how to join their community. And uh, our sponsor in Tallinn is New York, Law Company. Uh, lawyers support us. Uh, they are work with creative professionals. So you have, if you have any questions in terms of uh, 
yeah, here the copyright and the intellectual property and so on. This this guy knows. This guy knows. Sorry. Uh, also, thank you, Event Media, for recording all the videos. So we keep our memories on the website of Creative Mornings, and soon we will also add videos from previous events, so we can always check how we talked uh, on different topics before. And uh, thanks, Caffeine, for bringing us energy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Uh, and uh, thank you, Nikolai Pais, uh, for uh, bringing uh, us food and keeping energy uh, from the mornings. Uh, actually, if you go to their uh, cafe, they have a very lovely cat uh, living there. Um, and uh, thanks, Ellington Printing, for helping us with print materials. And uh, our partner for gifts, which will be in the end, Colordot helps us to create some memories uh, for our speakers. Uh, and uh, our friends from Machina Studio keep helping us with uh, designs and also sketch during events. And yes, and our collaboration with Drink and Row uh, goes and goes. Uh, we have some artists joining our events every every time, and they sketch and and draw. And after we can put we put. Uh, uh, pictures on the our resources and also you can join drink and draw events if you like to draw or afraid to draw and want to start drawing uh, they are doing events in the city uh, drawing in many different formats this is also our local Tallinn uh, community of artists yes and very so talking very nice talking about artists now coming to the theme which is muse uh, theme about inspiration I find that it's very very like very great suits to creative mornings. And finally, we have it because the teams are actually every month are very different. It can be from the very positive till very kind of not very easy to discover. Like, for example, once we have the theme death, and it might be challenging to talk about not that easy things. But today in September, uh, we were happy to call uh, Lisa. <laughs> I see her already backstage. <laughs> Uh, Lisa is an artist and illustrator. I think you all know her style already. And she will introduce her her muses <laughs> and her source of inspiration. Uh, yes, I also have a picture of Lisa <laughs> here. <laughs> so yeah, welcome. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, my name is Lisa and I'm a freelance artist and uh, illustrator, working as an illustrator. So, um, mm, I'm mostly doing drawings and paintings. So here you can see my web page and uh, the, the style of what I'm doing. I, I really like to uh, uh, draw and paint people and uh, and uh, emotions or some funny things and uh, like the, the environment around and also I love lots of colors. So here you can see some pictures from my last exhibition that was in, uh, in Hobusebea Gallery in the beginning of the, this year and later it was around the other cities in Haapsalu and Viljandi. And uh, these are based actually from the smaller drawings. Uh, I, I usually I, I draw uh, like small A4 size. And then uh, now lately I, I have painted them more bigger because I feel like uh, the small drawings, mm, if you put on the wall or something, then they don't work as the painting. Painting have, uh, I think the, the thing that I liked in painting is this, the colors and how, how this, these are like working or how there's some, some power in this, uh, in, in this uh, big size and color. So, uh, in the beginning, why 
why I started to make art or how I started uh, it was because uh, probably because I grew up in the artist uh, family. My father and mother was um, related with art. My father was working as a um, in what is this? Uh, Sorry, my English is not so good, uh, but he was like decorating the windows in the Kaubamaja, Tallinna Kaubamaja, and all the set like inside. And and my mother was uh, working as a uh, book uh, designer. So I grew up uh, in the environment where there was like lots of uh, lots of papers and pens and uh, stuff like that I, I could draw and uh, and do art and uh, and m my parents didn't teach me but they were like supportive like yeah do you want to do it and of course uh, I think this is this is the first uh, step where where uh, you can practice with uh, different uh, materials and I think also that uh, if you are, if you have a kid, uh, you should give the him their um, the the materials that are not for kids but for professionals because uh, uh, then in a in a very small uh, age you can uh, start doing something really great. But uh, then, yeah, after that, uh, I it was like a normal. Uh, that I went to the art school and uh, art university, and uh, and now I'm I'm a freelance artist, and uh, it's not easy to be an artist and uh, to live with that because uh, it's you know, sell the paintings only. But uh, then I have this illustration part that uh, also I like to draw, so it's. It's like uh, normal that I'm I'm working as in uh, doing some illustrations, but I haven't done any children book yet or or this bigger stuff. More like uh, I really like the editorial illustrations for the magazines and uh, newspapers. Now I'm mostly working in uh, Murileht and uh, and have done some different. Uh, different projects. At the moment I'm finishing one museum project that is uh, coming in um, in autumn for the kids. So uh, today's topic was the, the, the muse and uh, what inspires me or how I how I start to work and uh, and uh, there's not uh, any certain kind of muse that I I'm inspired, but I think it's more changes in the time, and uh, and there's many many things that all together brings it me to to do this thing, to do this art. Um, and lately, I have found that. Uh, just uh, in very random uh, times, these images uh, come up to my mind, or the idea come up to my mind, just I don't know where, and I feel like I have to do it. So, <laughs> uh, but uh, first, I think it's very important to have the mm, right uh, materials that you're working. Um, for me, example, the, the paper and pen example, if I sketch, uh, I, I can't do it in any, uh, any, any paper or with any pen. It's, it has to be very specific and I have to feel very like, good with it. Also with paintings, with the, with the, with the paint itself and, uh, and the brushes. And uh, because if you, if I I don't have this uh, very good uh, materials, that I don't feel comfortable, and that really mm, makes stress, I think. And uh, 
I, I feel like I don't want to do it. <laughs> so I think this is, this is the first thing that is very important, the, the right materials. Uh, the other thing is maybe also uh, mm, get to know like what you what you like and uh, or what you are doing. Like example, if I'm doing my illustrations, illustration works mostly. It's I have in my mind uh, like the picture what I want to do, but it's uh, never it will never be come out the the way that that. I, I'm thinking about it, so it's much easier when you when you are okay with this uh, the way how you are doing it. I'm I'm the artist who is not making much uh, sketches. I'm just doing straight forward like what comes out of my hand, and then uh, as I'm drawing lots of people and. Uh, then l lots of times there's uh, some uh, mm, somebody have a longer hand than the other or you know the proportions are not so right but uh, I feel it's uh, even more better than because then you have uh, some maybe some other emotions or something inside that uh, everything doesn't have to be perfect all the time you know so, uh, um, <laughs> yeah, and also uh, doing the illustration work, I feel it also that uh, mm, it's good to practice with the new ideas or like new uh, new process of making something not doing any work like hmm, how I explain uh, it's uh, I like to of course every artist wants to mm, develop and wants to create something new or different but uh, some I, I feel that uh, if I'm doing some work uh, that you have a deadline and you have uh, clients then you it's better to to draw as you usually do because uh, if you start to do something really new thing then it may not come out so easily or so so good as you want but uh, going to the other uh, things that uh, what uh, inspires me or what uh, pushes me to to do some uh, art is uh, definitely looking the other uh, works, the other artists' works, and uh, going to the exhibitions and uh, just scrolling the Instagram pages or uh, or looking some books. And it's uh, for me, it's really important because uh, from there I, I feel like uh, like some ways that I I would like to experience or try it out and um, and just uh, get some um, hmm, hmm, yeah some just. Uh, just looking uh, good stuff uh, makes me uh, think to I want to do also something uh, by myself. But lately, I feel like uh, exhibitions, example, they they are or everywhere. I think lots of things are not uh, um, making me this wow effects or like uh, I'm not so surprised all the time. But uh, it, it goes with the time, I think. When you are younger, you think like, oh, everything is so cool and uh, you like so many things. And, and then later you, are, you, you like more, more specific stuff. But uh, still, uh, there's sometimes uh, good, uh, good things. Example, I, I went to the Venice Biennale uh, in this weekend and uh, I saw some big installations there, and uh, 
I felt really like, oh, yeah, so many good new ideas, like what I want to do, and maybe some really different field also, not only painting and drawing. I'm doing sometimes the other things also, but lately mostly paintings. But I like to I like to practice with the maybe ceramics or sculpture or why not yes yeah, doing some installations and mm. and uh, I think the other thing is traveling that really inspires me and uh, every time when I come back from some uh, trip then I feel like oh I want to do something and. And uh, it have been like this all all the time. Mostly my travels have been because of the school or uh, residencies or or just exhibitions or some something like that. But there's also some uh, just holiday trips. But it doesn't matter. I think it's uh, if you go to the to the other environment and uh, you see different people and uh, all the things is new and uh, I think it, this is this is like a um, good uh, refreshing uh, point and uh, usually when I travel then I take my sketchbook with me and uh, I like to just sit down whatever where like in cafe or you're waiting a bus or uh, just in a in a park and uh, draw what I see, and it's very simple. It's uh, just I I love to cover all the pages and uh, and um, yeah, I think it's mm, it's good way to sit down and uh, look what is going around and look the people. I really like to, uh, as I'm like painting and drawing mostly people then i really enjoy like looking how how they how they are or how they how they look and how sometimes how the how funny they are or some simple stuff you know going around and um mm, yeah i can uh, show you there's my latest uh, sketchbook. Um, I started it this uh, on uh, April this year. I went to Moscow, uh, and uh, there's some other uh, other trips inside, and some uh, Estonia things also. Um, but yeah, I have done this like maybe no more than ten years or something. Um, yeah, so traveling is. Uh, is for me is very very important. Mm. What else? I think um, also talking with the, the different people or your friends is also very inspiring, because uh, like example with any kind of topics, you can you something can make you feel like oh that's that's nice and I I would like to think about this more or read about this and maybe do some some new stuff and uh, also uh, I feel lately I feel um, when I'm in the beginning of some uh, ideas or some uh, some project that I want to make and I'm not really sure about uh, uh, is it good or is it working and and I feel when I when I talk with uh, different people about my idea, mm, I got so much good feedback, and uh, I really I think these people uh, help me to uh, think, you know, more more widely or more different fields, and uh, I uh, this this helps me usually a lot, like even like making exhibitions or putting the works up there or how like this uh, like these things and I, I think people shouldn't afraid about their uh, speaking out their uh, ideas that they want to do because uh, there's not really like somebody will stole your idea and uh, do something with it it's more 
it's everyone thinks differently and do their own things mm. more mm. and i think emotions are also that pushes uh, to work uh, i'm not this kind of artist who is going to the studio in the morning and going back in the evening uh, Usually I go in the evenings and paint, uh, paint there like in the night or something like that. Or even I, I go to the studio to do some totally different thing and uh, then I felt like, oh, I have to paint and then I will do some painting. So it's, uh, it's really, it, it depends on the, the emotion like or the feelings of what I have. Mm, and uh, I have felt that uh, if if I'm really angry or I'm really happy, then it's also like uh, pushing more more to work. When it's everything is neutral and good, and then it's you don't do anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What else? I don't know. What's the time? <laughs> I think I I told all the anger. Oh, I had I had one work when I was in Japan, and I was very angry, and then I made this painting. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, maybe there's others also, but I don't. I don't remember so much. But yeah, like, also the, the drawings are... Um, ah, yeah, that's the also the one thing that I want to tell. The drawings, I usually... I just start to draw. I don't think anything before. I just... I have some, maybe some good emotion or something, and I just start from somewhere. And uh, then it... Uh, it leads to some some idea or some some thought, and I I think it's it's also a good thing to uh, to get started or get some ideas uh, when you just uh, scribble you know something, then you never know what what comes out or what. It, it's when I'm doing my drawings, I I really think about about, I don't know, all of my life or all of the things what happened or something like that. So, so these are kind of like very um, personal uh, <laughs> things for me. But yeah, maybe for you it, it, it looks like just pictures, <laughs> drawings. <coughs> and also... Um, as I like the the mm, colors much, then I, uh, example when I go to the mm, some uh, what is the, what is called this uh, mm, oh. construction shop, yeah. <laughs> Then I really like to look this um, paint uh, paint colors like this uh, brochures or something that you can uh, look and it's it's also gives me very uh, much energy to like oh this is so nice color and I really would like to paint with it or yeah I don't know maybe it's time for the questions and. Uh, I can answer. <laughs> yeah, let's start then this discussion. It's sometimes in the morning not that easy. Uh, does anyone has a question? I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, well, you didn't talk anything about this other stuff, even though you draw these things too. Am I correct? Uh, yes, oh, sorry, what was the question? All, all that stuff. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, you draw these things too. Yes. Yes. Um, how would you find these situations? Are they from your friends? Um, all these little 
awkward situations or conversations that you draw? Uh, this is actually the collaboration project and uh, mm, I'm the illustrator there. So I'm not uh, thinking uh, this, uh, I'm not writing this, uh, the joke part. So, so this, this comes from, or this came from, because I'm, I finished this now. Uh, just going around and uh, you know, looking people and uh, finding like funny things around us. I, I really like to find this by myself also, like just uh, simple, small stuff that we are doing funnily, you know, or saying something or mostly like the uh, grand grandparents are talking very interesting stuff sometimes. <laughs> and <laughs> and uh, when you watch the TV or... Um, I don't know, just I also like to make jokes about myself, so it's, uh, you know, you're doing something funny thing that happens, and yeah. yeah. Thank you, I like them. <laughs> Thank you. Could you tell a little more uh, about the project in museum that will be uh, uh -huh. open in, in autumn, in November, as I understood? What yeah. museum and what exactly for kids? <laughs> mm -hmm. This is, uh, I have done this four years already. It's uh, called Avatud uh, Mängu mm, And it's uh, for the kids in the um, autumn uh, break. And uh, there's some brochures in uh, museums that uh, uh, kids can take and uh, there's some uh, games or some information stuff that uh, I don't know how to ah here that you can you know do funny things in in museum or nice stuff so I'm I'm illustrating it and uh, designing and uh, every year different uh -huh. museums. We are doing this together with the other uh, illustrator, Virga Lo. And could you tell how you are working on this project? Is um, um, people who <coughs> who may who make these uh, questions and uh, uh, tests for children? Uh, you just read the uh, question and then you make an illustration, or you work with the, those people who. Uh, compose these questions for children. Uh, this is yeah. This is a b bigger uh, thing. It it comes from Saint Petersburg, I think, the whole idea, and uh, it involves. I'm doing this year ten museums or something like that, but there's even more, like maybe twenty museums all over Estonia, and uh, every museum itself thinking about uh, their their games and uh, the questions and uh, all this part. And I, I got the, just the, their idea, like how how to put all this together and what to draw and like this. So every museum is doing it by themselves. They, they have this, uh, uh, the work one, Somebody is working with this, all the um, projects for the museum, the kids and stuff like. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I don't know. Did I answer for your question? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I lately find out uh, that. Uh, uh, People uh, with who I'm working in the studio uh, becoming in some way muses for me because, like, you come and see what people do, and it even inspires you more. And uh, sometimes it's uh, in my mind wake up uh, the urge to to compete. And uh, is it works for you in this way or uh, not? <laughs> yes, you're right. Yeah, I, I I started to think about this when we all we are the sharing the same studio with Maria. 
When we started to be together in the studio, I haven't had before a common studio with somebody. I usually worked uh, alone, and I was a little bit afraid even to to work together with the other people because I'm in the beginning when I do something, I really I don't want to show it to anyone. Um, but uh, yes, what I di discovered uh, was that that uh, example, the colors, like what the other artists were, were using, I was like, oh, this is so nice a color, and it it really inspires me to just uh, just look what the others are doing, and also how example how productive they are, like when they are doing lots of things, then I feel like, oh, why I'm so lazy? <laughs> I should do more. <laughs> and it's also good, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, more questions? Um, uh, okay, I have a question about, then as Masha said, about this uh, um, like competition. Uh, oh, competition. How is it to work in Estonia? I mean, uh, we have so many artists here, as I find, in Estonia. But the market is quite uh, limited, I would say. How is it for artists uh, here? Is it more like focusing on the local market or trying to become more international? How you, f how you found for yourself? What strategy worked for you better? Or mm. it's both still kind of mixing these things? Yeah, I think it's... Uh it's kind of easy to make the exhibition in Estonia. Mm. Like it, you just have to apply for the with some project or we have pretty many galleries and I I have done exhibitions lots of galleries in Estonia. So I think this part is easy. But maybe it comes a little bit boring to show the stuff only for people or our friends who have seen like all your stuff already, but it's definitely for me it's not easy to go uh, outside, like example to make exhibitions outside. Maybe it's easier to to show your drawings or just show your stuff in the internet. I started to uh, when I was like teenager or something. I started to make. Uh, one blog where I put up my illustrations and I I got also lots of uh, inspiration from there like there were many young people as me all over the world and we 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 also comment there and we we share our ideas or stuff and and I think this was a very good starting point for me that uh, I was uh, sharing my stuff even more for the foreigners than the people in here in Estonia, and I was in in the beginning. I was a little bit also afraid to show my stuff here, in school, example, because you always have to explain like what is this and uh, what is the meaning and what is the background, and and for me, I'm just mostly I'm just drawing, you know, and. Uh, I sometimes I don't know why I'm doing this or there's not like big big uh, project or idea in the behind so it comes later or I even more like when people found by themselves something inside there so it's more like emotion based things but competition here, I don't know about this so much. Mm, I have done my stuff and showing my stuff. And and maybe lately, like uh, two years or something, something happened. I don't know, people started to buy my paintings. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> uh, looks like, yeah, it's uh, it's... It's working more now, I think. Like people, people found something from there. But I'm, I don't think I'm really com competing with. Is it right? <laughs> with the, the local artist here, 
because I think they are more uh, mm, conceptual and uh, I'm, I'm not really in this, this field. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, more uh, questions? Maybe some ideas came up? No? <laughs> uh, okay, I can keep on with asking you. <laughs> I have a question. I mean, maybe it's a little bit like kind of naive question, but uh, about your style, how you came up to, because you have this, this, the style of these faces and very simple drawing of people, uh, how you came up to it and maybe was it helping you to sketch more quickly? Um, that that kind of I think it's very catchy style that it looks very easy. You feel like like me, for example, when I'm looking at that, I think, oh, it's it's so easy. Like you feel it's so easy to draw. It's so like it feels like so childish and so so kind of um, inspiring also. But well, is it actually that easy? And uh, how you came up to this and why? Maybe it helps you or it's part of you. How how you feel about it? Hmm. Oh, I can maybe show some of my l earlier drawings in the beginning from here, maybe. Oh, here, yeah. Yeah, I, it has been changed, but uh, I started to draw with uh, pencils. These are like, uh, example, mm -hmm. this, my, my sister. This is from 2005, I think. I started to draw with this uh, colored pencils and uh, I don't know, I like this line drawing a lot from the beginning and uh, I started with this and then I felt like uh, also the markers are very nice like making the backgrounds there Maybe maybe why I'm doing this very simple line and comic style, it's also because of uh, I I don't like to work with something uh, very long time. Mm -hmm. I have this emotion and I have to do it straight away. It's also with the paintings. I'm doing my paintings usually with the one two days, sometimes longer, but but uh, mostly fast. And uh, maybe it comes also from there that that I I really uh, like uh, also the comics and mm -hmm. also illustration part and this is mm, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> it just uh, I think it's uh, with the time it comes more. Uh, more just one line, and uh, now it's even more simple, maybe. And uh, and I, why I'm not uh, uh, doing things as I already told, why I'm not uh, mm, focusing on this uh, proportions, right proportions, or uh, example the hands or something, because I I don't feel that this this is important. The important is the is the like the maybe the movement or maybe the just the feeling or just the just the way that you you are showing something because why to draw the same as we already see the people like then you can make the photograph or yeah, there have to be something uh, different. But I never thought uh, was I. I never have been thinking about uh, I have to uh, make something very different or like the others or or just I like to do it and I'm doing and I don't think about this much <laughs> like how it looks like. Okay, thank you. Uh, any more questions? Everyone is so sleepy today. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like it's September. <laughs> um, okay, I also um, don't know. Maybe to sum up, uh, as you s you were telling many things, I think w what I came, the idea I came to is that kind of artists should be more active and not be afraid of uh, getting out of 
box, I would say. And how is it? Uh, maybe you have some small tips or advices, like quickly, just to list. But you like to sum up what you have already said. Uh, for example, if a person is introvert and it's kind of feeling that it's hard to get get with others, are there any tips you would recommend how to? And do you find that it's actually a must? Or it's maybe there is another way, or any tips to kind of get out of this state and uh, uh, meet meet others and be more active. Because uh, as, I, as I've seen, uh, I've seen your works very like more and more and more and more. So I see that you are very active. You are doing exhibitions, you are doing events, you are making workshops, and then you, I start to see like you are painting some festival covers and in magazines. So it's already kind of see that this artist is very active and kind of trying to do some other stuff, uh, not just paint, but also some do very, very active, uh, any kind of like activities. <laughs> is it is it a strategy for everyone, how you think, or just just to think about it? Definitely not, I think, because mm -hmm. I, I'm this kind of artist that uh, I like to do the other, lots of the different things. I, I, I have my friends or somebody who is they are painters and they just paint, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, but for me, it co maybe it goes a little bit boring to do only the one thing. But uh, definitely, the one tip is just uh, just work a lot, just do a lot of things. I think this this helps also the the sketching. Just if you if I'm traveling and took my sketchbook everywhere and to draw. Uh, this helps and uh, just draw by yourself and uh, mm. and then I think in this process you you will find like what you like, what way you like to do the things, what colors or what materials you like and uh, and uh, then you already continue with the these materials and stuff and these topics and then you you know you just go up all the time and then maybe one day you feel like ah uh, oh, I have my style I didn't <laughs> discover that I'm uh, yeah I, I didn't think out of, like think about this before or something but um, hmm. for me why people are thinking that I'm so productive I think it's because I I post my stuff everywhere and it's it have been like this all the time if I do something then I show it mm -hmm. I don't know if it's good or not but uh, I feel like I want to show it I, I I don't want to do the things to my you know the <laughs> shelf or you know it's if I'm already doing something, then everyone should see it, and uh, may maybe they got something from this. Uh, it would be nice. And I feel, I feel that I'm uh, wanted in this world, or I'm I have some purpose. <laughs> but um, uh, hmm. what else? It depends on, I, I felt like uh, going to the school and uh, and uh, going um, abroad was very good and uh, seeing like how the others are doing and uh, got the inspiration or got the ideas from there. I, I went to study for exchange uh, semester in uh, Rhode Island School of Design and I think from there I, I got this uh, mm, mm, the, I got the the way how I'm painting now because the teachers there and the other art the other students for example they they did things so differently and so I, I really liked it a lot and uh, after that I felt like uh, yeah I, I'm doing like I I want, and uh, 
I think here in Estonia we have so few people and uh, and example I was in school and I felt like uh, there wasn't much such teachers who understand what I'm doing or who were interested in this kind of like art making so it was very hard to me and uh, I I made all the time my personal works and then my school works they were very different and in the last uh, years then I started to do my own stuff and yeah I did it I I felt like they don't understand it or they but uh, but I didn't care and I think it's this is good point also that you you don't care what the others are thinking about this. You are doing the thing that you like to do, and this is the most important. And, uh, and it's in many in many work actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. In many things you do. Because you live once, and you have to do the things that you love to do, and uh, in every kind of field, <laughs> you have to enjoy. <laughs> Hello. Well, we have time for last question. Yeah. <coughs> Maybe what is the biggest source, your biggest source of encouragement? Hmm. Like uh, what? Uh, what encourages yeah. you the most to keep drawing, to keep painting, to keep displaying your art? I don't know. It, it just, uh, I feel I have to do it. That's the thing. And the example, if I haven't done, like, if I haven't drawn or painted, like, sometimes, then I, I feel, feel really stressed. And uh, I, I think it's, it's the thing that I, I need to do. And it, it makes me feel good. And, uh, and also, the, I think the feedback, if people are People, they really like my stuff and it, it also pushes a lot, like, oh yeah, I really want to do more and, and, uh, and example, selling the painting is also, every time when I sell some, something, then I feel like, oh, I have to do something new now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's, it goes like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Lisa, for coming and for sharing. Uh, we have some like time uh, after event. You can come also ask question personally <laughs> if you have time. Yeah. And uh, we have a sorry, we have a small present. Oh, come on, present uh, for you. Uh, yeah, here is Muse. <laughs> You're lucky to have this theme because some people <laughs> had not that <laughs> inspiring <laughs> phrases. I mean, like when you have team end or something. It's, but still, I hope it will keep you. Um, keep you will you can keep here your art stuff uh, or I, I hope it will keep you moving on and uh, keep keep on and be inspired and keep us inspired <laughs> as well uh, thank you for your works thank you for sharing your story uh, thank you for waking up uh, this is for you uh, thank you yes <laughs> uh, thank you all for coming <laughs> and uh, I see already that we have lots of sketches if if you want, if I mean artist, if you want, you can bring them here. Sorry, <laughs> and we will make pictures of them and share with everyone. So don't be shy this time to to shine. <laughs> Come on. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you for coming. Keep watching our uh, media, uh, Facebook. We usually post everything and Instagram. And see you next month in October. Yeah. Have a nice weekend, have a nice Friday. See you soon. <laughs> Thank you.